Walter. Samuel, my boy. As I live and breathe. I kept meeting to call, but phones are so... impersonal. How are you holding up? Well, let's say that I've had better weeks. Not a hard thing to believe. You went through something terrible, but I'm glad you came out the other end. I've had a brush myself with the Maker here and there, and I would never call them fun. Not fun at all. Life-affirming, though, definitely. Even for those close to you, it leaves a mark. Now, two members of my family of heart are gone. One is wounded. It might be time for me to finally hang up my saddle. The Basswood Jungle has printed its last pages. Come on, Walter. What would Basswood be without the jungle? My first week in the bullpen, you said to me, the pen is not a sword, but a shield. You take this town's shield away? Using my own words against me. <laughs> Believe me, I wish there were another way. But I lost my flame, and there's no one to pick up the torch. Except... He's gonna offer you to be editor-in-chief. He never liked you leaving in the first place. Though, he is missing the obvious. Anna. She's connected to this place in a way that you aren't. She'd be the right choice. If you're not interested in the position yourself, that is. You. I see no one more up to the task. You've proven time and time again you're the quintessence of a journalist. <laughs> I should have told you a long time ago. It would be an honor. The jungle hasn't gotten an inch bigger than when you left. And with the way the whole industry is going, it might not last much longer. Walter, you've made the sale. Cash in while you still can. Great. Great. I'm surprised you said yes. I'm surprised you offered. What with my history. Because you use ink and paper to point out hypocrisy and right wrongs? Few are half as brave, which is why every community needs a Samuel in it. We have much to discuss, but you're not here for an old fuddy-duddy. If I can give you a small piece of advice, a good life is one where you keep your friends close to your heart. 